What's up, people? Thank you, as always, for passing by the channel. All right, someone asked me this question on Twitter, and I thought it was a very good question. It got me thinking. If Tyson Fury goes to America, obviously, and beats Deontay Wilder, is he an all-time British great? Is he an all-time British great? The first answer that springs to my head straight away is yes. Like, he is. And I think the, the reason I say he is is because for fighters nowadays, or maybe not even nowadays, fighters in general, the first thing I do before I start discussing them or, or looking at how good they are, or how great they are, is I go to their record, right? And when I go to their record, I'm not just looking at names. And I think this is the problem that maybe Anthony Joshua has, and it's not his fault, but I don't just look at names. I look at when did you fight the person, right? Um, when? Where was that person in their career at that time? So was the person undefeated? Was the person on the win streak? Or was the person kind of close to the end? When did you fight that person? Don't just rattle up names. Don't just put names on your resume. When did you fight them? And I look at Tyson Fury, who fought Vladimir Klitschko in Germany, by the way, and that we need to add that into it. He went away from home, fought Klitschko away from home, but he fought Klitschko, who was on a, a nine-year unbeaten run. So he fought the Klitschko. Like, there's no two ways about it. A lot of people talk about maybe Anthony Joshua not fighting the Klitschko. Tyson Fury fought the Klitschko and embarrassed him a little bit. It, it was embarrassing. It wasn't a beat, and it wasn't like he put him down five times. Just an embarrassing. Hands behind the back, embarrassing. Now, if he goes to America and beats up Deontay Wilder, or beats him, beats up is irrelevant. If he goes to America and beats Deontay Wilder, who is 40 and 0, and I think right now at the peak of his career, especially after Luis Ortiz's performance, I think Deontay Wilder's like right here right now, and he does that, then just by them two wins alone, for me, he is an all-time great. He really is. Because um, he could have names on a resume. He really could have names on a resume that don't mean too much, just names that you want to put on there, right? Again, I don't want to bring AJ into it, but obviously a lot of people talk about Povetkin win, for example, and people say, okay, look, Povetkin's 39. He's not the same Povetkin. People talk about Klitschko. Okay, yeah, but Klitschko was 41. You know, Tyson Fury beat him. He was out of the ring for two years. Those kind of things. Tyson Fury won't have that with Klitschko and Wilder. Those two were literally on their A game when he fought both of them. If he can go to America and beat a guy that is unbeaten, a guy that has knocked out every single person, a guy that I think is firing on all cylinders right now, then he has to be an all-time British great. He has to be. I mean, if you're going to argue with me, by all means, put your argument down so I know. But for me, 110% all-time great if he can go to America and win and add that to the Klitschko win that he's already got. What do you guys think? Let me know. Very quick video.